A new Barney video has released and it's called The End of Classic Barney Beekeeper Adventures. What you are witnessing here is a level 69 nice. undead rogue, 72 experience points away from level 70, about Ooh. to kill Kel'Thuzad for the last time. Once yep. I kill this lich, the slow descent into misery begins. Once I kill this lich, it's time for rep farming, to enter oh, dungeons, to rep farm, to enter the same dungeon, but worse. Oh, like rep farm, to gain entry to content and some some worse. Oh, no. Once I kill this lich, only pain and suffering awaits me, but at least I get to share this moment with with my guild, the guild I had all my classic adventures with. Oh, okay. Let's go. Yes, I did! Let's fucking go! Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's that's a clip. At least, at the very least, we'll always have each other. And oh, then the GMs true. went rogue and stole 100k from the G Bank and transferred <laughs> off. But that's a story for Oof. another time. Oh shoot! Okay. Dude, I think it's so great in Barney's videos. Oh! Let's go! Dude, I've been waiting for this for a while, Chad. Ooh, the TBC. Hey. Oh, it's the very beginning, I guess. Scarab Lord Grind. It's like I'm watching an anime intro or something like that. <laughs> Kind of funny. Ooh, man, this makes me so nostalgic about classic man. Yeah, really good editing always. Twelve percent going down. All the thing, yeah. Okay, TBC. Welcome oh. to the end of Classic. Thank Last you. adventure I, well, you know, obtained Scarab Lord across a grand tetralogy delivering unto you like Magnum ago. Opus. A series so cool and epic, I got my own Wowhead article written about me. Damn. Thank you, I know, 42 whole words. Who would have thought, huh? A series oh, so poggers, we sold out all the plushies in like three days. Oh, the scam yeah. thing, yeah. We're gonna activate their sentience soon. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> Uh, the series was so swag. They put me in Hearthstone. Wow. What? Oh, you don't think this is a me reference? This card could have been any race, any class, but they specifically chose Rogue, Undead Rogue. Are you not convinced? Uh, maybe. I'm not convinced. I think I'm actually reading into this too much and I just have an ego now. <laughs> it's not like the card says a quote from my video when you play it or anything. <laughs> the classic content creator ego. Wait, it totally fucking does that. I'm not just a Scarab Lord. Yep. I'm not just a Scarab Lord. I'm the Scarab. Lord. I'm the Scarab Lord! Scarab Lord! Oh my oh. god, they set the line! What more is there to say? The Not accolades true. you have all showered me with is beyond anything I could have expected. I put my entire heart, soul, body, and mind into Good that videos. project. It was nothing short of a labor of love with so much thought and care put into it. Mm. I can't possibly top it. I've peeped. Peep, 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 oh. peep. It's all downhill from here. But you'll join me for the ride back oh, no. down, right? Right? Hey man, I think I speak for everyone here when I say, we uh, come here to listen to your stories oh, because this is us. we just love to hear you tell them. Whether it's a cinematic masterpiece crafted over multiple years, or uh -huh. just a simple tale of how you camped some bozo, we'll be here to listen because uh, if you're the one telling the story, well, that's a story that we want to hear. Oh my god. Okay. Wait a minute. This guy's being nice in World of Warcraft. Yeah. Oh, that's Spock Victors. Let's get him. Huh? <laughs> So as you might have deduced from the oh, title, sure. this video takes place during the tail end of WoW Classic, specifically oh. the last three weeks. Our story begins on May 10th, 2021, with a blue oh post gosh. from community manager Kyvax, which reads the following. In order to prepare our game service to be ready for both the upgrade to the Burning Crusade Classic yep. and the availability of Classic Era Realms, so excited for those, we will close the auction houses on all WoW Classic Realms at 10 a.m. PDT on Friday, May 14th. Oh, yeah. We expect auction houses to become available again when the game service resumes following maintenance on May 18th. I remember the I don't know I still don't know why they didn't make it so you could just transfer your character for free to the era. So you could have an era character for free and a TBC character still. It still blows my mind you had to pay for that. 
blah, blah, blah. Thank you for your understanding. And everyone understood. The end. I mean, uh, no one understood. Congratulations nope. for having this stupid idea. Uh, why? It seems like something that can be easily avoided. Four oh, days God. for a job that should take two hours. <laughs> Yawn. Cloud and data solutions architect here. This is the Bruh. dumb- It's four days. What fits your description of a few? I don't think that word means what you think it means. Beware Dude. the Ides of my May. Don't mind me, just necroing this post for a video. Lol. It was obvious oh. the people were upset. Four days was a very long time to go without the auction house, and mm. there was nothing anyone could do about it. Yep. Well, nothing most people could do about it. But what if? What Ooh, if the freedom-loving Orgamarican patriot out there who could utilize their exorbitant social capital to start a movement against this decision? What mm. if they got on their raptor because they're still hiding their Scarab Lord mount at this point in the <laughs> timeline and started protesting outside Orgrimmar Auction House? Oh. Well, it just might work. Don't close the auction house, Blizz! What he be doing, man? Oh, Back gosh. and forth I march, patrolling the entrance. The voice the people long. needed. Flash two, wave two. Don't close the auction house, Blizz! This is the best idea I've ever had in my it's life. It's a protest. He's losing his mind, man. Of course, those who seek to usher in positive change will always be ridiculed for their compassion, their message <sighs> twisted and bastardized by reactionary grifters. But in this world of Warcraft, if you don't months. stand for something, you'll fall for anything. True. Six hours yeah. later. Oh shoot! <laughs> my peaceful protest had spiraled out of control <laughs> and was now a riot. How on earth did that happen? Anyway, our new message was pretty clear. If we can't use the auction house, <laughs> we're gonna burn it to the fucking ground. I gave somebody 28 gold to buy a Kodo. They better fucking Oh, what the, is going on? I don't, what, what is happening? Just then, an agent of the bourgeoisie arrived on scene to disrupt the protest with Emerald Dragonkin. <laughs> Mass Root, the only effective tool against a horde of stampeding oh, no. mounts. But a minor inconvenience to oh, be no. sure. I spent 15 hours in Ashenvale Yo, killing these mobs for my green shard quest, so really, what's one more kill surrounded by my people? I mean, True. if anything, the fact we were being met with such extreme resistance from the elite Jesus. served only to validate our noble cause and boost morale. You can keep kiting Emerald Dragonkin in from Ashenvale to temporarily root us. It will them. never stop us. Be strong! Keep pushing! For the fallen! For the merchants! Oh, the anyway, the auction house oh. is closed on May 14th as planned. Wait, do you really think I could make a difference? I have yeah. to cry on Twitter to get Dragonflight Alpha access. Oh, and no. <laughs> under the radar, like a smite priest in a GDKP. <sighs> Blizzard had taken away our God. auction houses, but the horde will endure, for the okay. horde is strong. Populous farmer's market. Saturday. Saturday. What, what, is, Saturday. what, what is happening? May 15th. Oh. Yeah. Auction house is closed, I bitch. Come by and sell your shit at the gates. Of also, Frugo, can I just say great choice on the narrative font here? Indeed. Did they actually made it? Wait, they made like an actual farmer's market because the auction house was down. Man, WoW players truly are down bad, aren't they? One valiant Tauren had stepped up to give the Horde direction in its God. hour of need. A time and a place to buy and sell wares physically in person, virtually in World of Warcraft. And this is really cool though. Like, that they actually did like a little bit like that, I, I think that's so What dope. could be more in the spirit of classic than reconnecting with a bygone age? Decades of gaming had trained me for this very moment, and am I not now the master of sales because of it? My Lucky product charms. is good. So damn good, in fact, that in Wrath Classic, you people still can't stop begging me for oh, a lucky shoot. charm. A bit I only did in one single video. That was all it took. Though. Bam! You were hooked. Wanna know why? Because I will not make garbage. I produced a product that performs as advertised. Damn. It's lucky, probably. I'm going to attend this farmer's market with my last batch of lucky charms, and okay. I'm going to death roll people for them. If they win, they get a lucky charm. If they lose, they give me 25 gold. It's perfect. That's a good sale. Now, if somehow you are unaware as to what death rolling even is, allow me to explain. But okay. before I do, please remember this one thing about gambling. Statistically, you will hit it big if you just keep playing. So here's how death rolling works. You will win! <laughs> One person rolls a dice with an agreed upon amount of sides. The second person then yeah. rolls that previous result and you follow this pattern until someone hits one. That person is the lo 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 loser. Lo mm. It's very complicated stuff. You owe five gold for this spot. I turn to the Tauren slowly. If you mm. try to shake me down, I will burn your parents' house to the ground. Trade cancelled. Okay. The farmer's market had barely been open 30 seconds and already shady Damn. folk were trying to scam. It really did feel like the virtual markets of yore. <laughs> this is no shakedown. This is a fee you owe. 
don't go to the Thunder Bluff tomorrow. Death roll! De de death roll! For an authentic Barney B lucky charm. Wow. The last batch of classic. 25 gold to play. Oh shit! Pog! Pog. Death <laughs> roll for lucky charm? So who wants a piece of the action, huh? Ah. Dude, seeing like Twitch emotes outside of Twitch is so weird, man. I'm pogging. I accept. Called out a voice from the crowd, oh. it was Henrik Steggles, the Thistle Tea Thrifter himself. In oh, the shoot. dark times when the evil bots camped every swift Thistle node and price fixed our precious rogue resource, Steggles. Wait, 80. When the evil bots camped every swift Thistle node and price fixed. 8 gold per Thistle Tea. Are you crazy? Our precious rogue resource, Steggles, what? was there to provide tea for a reasonable price. However, there is no honor among thieves. He may have done me a service in the past, yeah, but today yeah, I Yeah, 80 gold per 10, I know, 8 gold per 1. Every, every Tissle Tea is a gold. Make a mug of the Tissle Tea. Every Tissle Tea is 8 gold, sorry. He thrifter. <laughs> mug is like British slang for an idiot, and you drink tea out of a mug. These jokes are lost on like so many of you. Actually, I think that just wasn't funny. Hey, shut up. Whose side are you on? You may roll first. Oh, shit. Hold on a second. The person who rolls first can potentially lose on the very first roll. Does he know this rolling like second note? is more advantageous, or was he just being polite? <laughs> Damn, now we're gathering a crowd of already it. monologues in my head far too long to make asking him go first not awkward. I have to roll first, and That's when I so do, good. precedent is set that I roll first every time. Fuck! This guy's good. Okay, don't worry. I've got this. Oof. We'll just have to... <laughs> okay. Get lucky. Slash roll 250. I roll a 137. Ooh. Steggles rolls a 31. I like those odds. I roll and lose the game. Oh. Yep. I will treasure this with my life. Okay. Yeah, yeah, luck be with you. Whatever. Who's next? Me, 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 me. Oh, roll like so happy. I roll a 26. Ethereal rolls a 21. I roll and lose the game again. Wait. Woot. Woot. Barney sucks. Woot? Man, who the fuck says woot in 2021? Who's next? Okay. Waffle. Replied Wakte. And you want to know some shit? I lost this one too. You lost? Yes, mm. that's what I said. Were you listening? Okay, well, that's three losses in a row. I can't possibly lose any more, right? <laughs> Surely. But then I lost again. Oof. And again. And again. And again. And again. What? Again. <laughs> okay, you know what? I can't be giving these away anymore. This is a terrible, this is a terrible idea. This is not profitable at all. That's I'm gonna change my angle here. Ooh. I think I just came up with the perfect one. Introducing she the sucks. Beekeeper Lucky Charm. Okay. In oh. real life. Wow. wow! Tangible object on sale for real life. Wow. Wow. wow! How it's made. Cast in a mithril alloy, That's smelted cool, in the actually. fires of Black Rock Mountain, hand polished, deburred, and powder coated with true silver for a textured finish. The lucky Damn. charm is then hand filled with molten sarenite. The blood of an old. <sighs> I'm just joking. It's filled with honey. I'm a beekeeper. Just ignore That's the cool, other actually. Beekeeper. I like that. Ignore the whispers. All that you know will fade. Kill them all. Before they kill you. The charm is then placed snugly into its own holster. Heat formed real leather sourced from the flesh of my last honor kill. They told me leather working was useless, but just look at that buckle style wow. fastener. Wow. Wow. And tasteful yeah. oh, stitching. Okay. Wow. Beautiful. Attach it to your bag, your keys, or just wear it on your belt, as is all the rage in the Undercity. Pretty I'm cool. Wearing the Authentic Barney Beekeeper Lucky Charm attached to my four strength, four stem leather belt. Yeah. I oh am. my gosh. Ah. Don't go outside? No problem. Just take it out the holster and put it on your desk, nerd. Yeah, wow. Like, what does it do? What does it do? It's lucky. Oh. Probably. I'll take 25. <laughs> okay. I'm getting commissioned for this, right? No. Oh. Finally, oh. the charm Rip. is placed into its resting box, decorated ornately Looks with cool. the beekeeper sigil, where it will await your purchase at ba -ba -ba Barney64.com. But wait. There's okay. more. Inherit the more. nightmare with this striking dramatic artwork by Lunatic Moon Art. Depicting that time I totally owned that mage version of myself from another timeline. God, that was so sick. Or celebrate oh, the Scarab Lord adventures with this fun, oh, that's colorful cool. piece I like that. by the sick. Filled with tons of fun details and community favorites. These beautiful posters okay. are available in metal, canvas, or good old fashioned classic paper. Oh. What the fuck was that? Oh no, not you. How did you get in? Oh, it's back! Damn, the plushie! Okay, cool. 
Yes, the infamous Barney Beekeeper plushie is officially back on the market. All these items are available now for pre-order, and don't worry, influencer Damn. stuff is not involved at all. We no experienced scams. some, shall we say, difficulties with that last batch of merch, but rest assured my new partners are just the best. Also In nice fact, they are also victims of influencer stuff, and uh, he owes them a lot more money than he owes me. It's one of oh. the reasons I actually wanted to work with them in particular. I figured since we're both probably never getting paid because it's worse than you could possibly imagine. We may oh, as well lift each other up out the mud. It's kind of poetic. So if you, dear viewer, want to support my eternal struggle to upload more than one video in a year, head on over to Barney64.com wow. and give me money because I deserve it. And let's just set the record Damn, straight. Damn, you know what I had though, chat? I have a demonic rune, and it's not for sale. Yeah. There you go. Okay, I'm not now leaving the market because I've been completely rinsed for all my lucky charms. I have a raid to attend. Use it? On my oh, shadow whatever, rooms. man. Huh? What? Huh? Wow, I mean, <laughs> what? Oh. Shadow priests in okay. World of Warcraft Classic are really bad. Like, unmistakably in your face. How is this even a thing bad? I mean, listen, for PvP though, they can't slap the booty. Let's be honest, man. Shadow priests are like basically unkillable. Out of all the developer intended specs Classic has to offer, Shadow Priest is the only one truly yeah. worthless on a multi dimensional level. I TVP one, them saying. They don't do damage. Let's check out my favorite website, Wow, and the prime. take a random top 50 full Biss Shadow Priest log for Oof. phase 1 and 2 Molten Core. Wow, nice overall. 152 damage per second. Damage, not bad, and with full world buffs too, you should be very proud. Dude, warriors are going over a thousand, man. Now, Jarvis, show me Uber Dangerous logs. You see what I mean? Even if you are a top contender on Shadow Priest, your talents are utterly wasted because somewhere on the other side of the globe is a Moroccan Danish stoner, spending up to 60 seconds of fight, not swinging at the boss, and you are still only just barely clearing his damage. And also, because I'm a dick. Wowlogs is for pussies and bitches, by the way. Item two, yeah, they okay. can't do damage. What do I mean by this? Well, unlike every other version of WoW that exists in the vast WoW scape. Wait, what is this? Hold. I just want to see. I just want to see uh, how they're ranked here. Lightning in the bottle is classic. Legion is great. Wrath, Mob, and Dragonflight is good. Cataclysm, Vod is mixed bag. Mostly bad. TBC mostly bad. Damn. And Shadowlands is Shadowlands. Okay. Okay, based as hell. I actually haven't played, if it was, I mean, I haven't played Legion, so I, I, I don't really know Legion personally. I would put Classic on the top. I would probably put uh, TBC a lot higher. I really like TBC personally. But uh, I think I would probably put TBC above here in great. And Legion, I can't really rate. Wrath, I actually think is below TBC personally. But apart from that, I kind of agree with it. I can't really speak much of Cataclysm either, or Mob, because I didn't really play them. But what can you do? This game has a debuff cap of 16, which is bad. And when you can only have 16 debuffs on a boss, you typically want to use the slots on the best debuff available. And sure, Shadow Word Pain might be responsible for like 20% of a Shadow Priest damage, but you cannot divide yep. by zero. And let's face it, Shadow Word Pain is just not Sunder Armor now, is it? The game is rigged. You brought Dental Floss debuff to a slots. gunfight, and you are quite literally not allowed to play. And even if you were to somehow get into a raid by the grace of a loon, you're probably going to be told by your sensei, hey, don't let me catch you going all out, okay? This guy needs to sunder armor. Me hit boss. <laughs> Item three. They won't do damage? This is just how it is. I kind of okay. hate debuff slots in classic because it makes a lot of classes just not good. No self-respecting guild is ever going to gear a shadow priest into the position of being able to pump because that gear mm. is just going to go to literally any other person who can take it. Yeah. Say la vie. So why am I gearing a shadow priest? Well, Mage Me from another timeline ate the brain of Shadow Priest from another timeline. And by me eating the Mage Me's brain, I gained both their memories and abilities. I have like my own. It's really important to be in my own videos. Like I need you to understand. I agree. Um, but more importantly, if I want Glaives of Azanoth priority in TBC, I need a Shadow Priest ult. And I realize that Why? I have now left you with more questions, but if you look down, you'll notice this is the part where you've actually become entangled in another great web, which will surely have a payoff oh. in. Oh shit! Which I'm definitely releasing this year. Haha. <laughs> I hope yeah, I don't surely. get scammed. Listen, focus. Dude, Only I have never seen a WoW creator 
post videos literally like two years after the content has been done. Like everybody always struggles with getting the videos out literally the day after they do it. Barney just waits up two years. Like, holy. What need to know right now is that it is imperative to my World of Warcraft career's continuance. I not only learn Yeah, it's how probably to closer to three years, actually, now that you mentioned it. Play Shadow Priest, but play it at a competitive level. Or, at the very least, learn how to cheese while logs to make it look like I'm playing at yep. a competitive level. It's good videos, though. Insane videos. videos. The final boss of Ankaraj drops a ring, which is so good for Shadow Priests, it's still Biss next expansion for an entire phase. Meaning, if I can secure this ring right now, I will be so many numbers of steps ahead you guys, when we're raiding Karazhan next expansion and Ring of Recurrence drops, I can go, <clears throat> everyone, I'm passing. I already got my best. Dude, you're so thoughtful. What a team player. You definitely yeah. deserve blades. I'm gonna send you all my gold. Well, thanks. Yeah, you pass on all the items you actually don't really want to make it look like you're a good person so you can get the gear you really want. MMOs are all about social manipulation, guys. For watching, guys, for watching the video, yeah. like and subscribe. Oh my god, it's so good. An Asmin? Oh gosh. Yeah, I'm gonna look so cool. But back to reality. How the fuck do you get into a raid as a Shadow Priest when not even a GDKP will take you? Well, Oof. I have the answer. You lie. Oh shit. Not if you're playing Shadow LOL. Can you play Holy? That's a 97 though. Dude, the 97 parse was that shit on DPS? Yikes, man. So this is my Shadow Priest alt, Vileplume. Hi, I'm Vileplume, and if I'm being completely honest here, I could give a fuck about playing anything other than Rogue. As such, oh. Vileplume is your modern, no lamp grow, no artificial, no quests, no meaningful journey, oh. boosted to 60 and 48 hours. Shouldn't you be editing? No, no. This alt goes against everything I know and love about my classic experience. Mm. But for Glaives, we do what we must. True. For Glaives, we will turn to the shadow. Or I guess the light in this case? I mean, it is a miracle my priest looks this good considering they're only like a week old. Three-piece bloodvine set, wow. sash of whispered secrets, wow. cloak of consumption which is literally biz- Are you kidding me? This might no. be the coldest a shadow priest has ever looked after 50 hours of gameplay. A story for every piece of gear acquired. I recorded none of it. No, no, no. Oh. You guys, I am so many levels of undercover, you have no, no idea. I'm a rogue, masquerading as a what? shadow priest, masquerading as a holy priest, what? masquerading as a guy online, and all what? this just to avoid healing? What? Yes. Healing sucks, hello? What? It's that simple. I'm not even going on I... a tangent where I show my working and do a bunch of jokes about why healing sucks. The sky is fucking blue, okay? You wanna fight me about that? I will smite you. Literally, I will smite you. I'm not in a holy spec to heal. I am going to spam smite, the yep. only offensive single target holy spell, and let the light do the rest. Oh when I God. say spam smite, I mean cast it like five times and go oom because this spell sucks. Why and you know that warrior was tilted out of his goddamn mind because he lost all his world buffs. It costs so much mana. Oh, you thought shadow DPS sucked? Wait till you see my patented smite mm, priest. Smite. And I'm oom. Only you won't see me at all. Because I'm a rogue? If you look at the DPS meters and see a holy priest at the bottom, oh. what do you do? You ignore it. Mm. Actually, you don't even ignore it. Your conscious brain doesn't even acknowledge it. You subconsciously glance over it because- a What's even worse is that there's some warriors below, okay? That's all I'm thinking about, man. There's actually warriors below the priest. Holy Priest being at the bottom of a DPS meter is not a red flag. It is my green disguise. I yeah. am right where I should be, hidden in plain sight. Now let's smite some fucking bugs. The end of classic Ankaraj GDKP. Okay. Welcome, 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 welcome. I... Ankaraj. Raj. Okay. Raj. So the first boss of Ankaraj is the Prophet Scarum. You must interrupt Bullshit his one boss. second AoE explosion. You this must sucks. polymorph the people he mind controls. And when he spawns illusions, you must focus them. If you ignore any of these mechanics, you are fucking griefing. 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 I hate this boss, man. You could just get so unlucky and die and lose all your world buffs. I am fucking griefing. griefing. But just look at these numbers. When do you wow. ever get to see a smite priest pop up? And I'm oom. Well, that was fine. Except my cover is totally going to be blown here because this raid is filled with fucking scrubs. Gul'dan Ramsey can get a pass. He barely leaves Fel's kitchen, but how am I meant to hide at the bottom of the DPS meter if I'm pumping harder than nine other DPS as a fucking smite priest? Dude, what are those? Okay, sorry. I, I don't mean to lock horse, but... 
What are those, man? I guess that's a classic GDKP. Uh, TTS is paused for now, Grim Wizard. I'll, I'll play it after the video, just so it doesn't harder than nine too much. other DPS as a fucking smite priest? I'm getting stressed, guys. You don't get it. If I get caught here, it's not just ejection I face, okay? It's a full blown ban from every GDKP in the Grumulus GDKP network as they all Thank share you, a blacklist. Grim GDKP is serious business. Stop right there. How else is anyone gonna launder their gold that they. <laughs> The next oh. encounter is Silithid Royalty. You can kill the three bugs in any order, but only the last one you kill drops loot. Mm. As such, you typically want to kill Kree last as he drops the most valuable items. Yep. So nine times out of ten, your encounter will look a little something like this. You start by focusing Princess Yaoj first because her A AoE fear is too. fucking annoying. Not that Dude, I Dude, AQ40 is my least favorite raid in Classic. I, I, I hate the box, man. Like, I, I, I hate it. No. The, Next, this you raid focus sucks. Them. The easiest of the three, but watch out for his charge move. It's fucking brutal. Also, I'm boom. Finally, we deal with Kree. With his oh. AoE melee cleave and AoE ranged poison, there is nowhere Kree cannot get you. And yep. because he is the last bug alive, he is now dealing double damage with increased attack speed. I'm sorry, Sensei, but for this bug, I'm going to have to go all- And I'm oom. Well, oh. that was fun. Also, when Kree dies, he drops poison all around him, which is guaranteed Ooh. to kill at least one noob who just couldn't wait to yeah. see the loot. Lol. Next up is yep. Battleguard Sartora, or as I like to call it, the Blender. At Another bullshit time, boss. Sartora can just start spinning on your shit dealing insane oh. damage which wouldn't be so bad if she wasn't flanked by three fuckers who can cause yeah. utter chaos with their knockback in Hate an organized raid too. the three ads will be grouped stun locked and bursted down on pull so you mm. can just focus sartora in this raid it was open season on scrubs oh, oh no we don't have it. no oh, oh, now someone i tried buddy I tried hold her steady Oh, oh. I fucking miss being a rogue. You heard it. Stay in. Stay Dude, in. these kind of raids, though, they're they're good content, man, okay? But they are a hell to be in. But they're so fun content. It's fine. It was a hard-fought battle. We had oh. suffered many casualties at the hands of the Blender. But ultimately, we stood victorious. That went a lot better than expected. Yep. You got your secret weapon in the raid, that's why. Yeah, Jay? <laughs> yeah. Uh, what? Jay. Now we move on to the gauntlet, a long mm. corridor teeming with bugs. So many bugs, so many bugs, so many bugs. I am oh pressing Holy Nova. I am out DPSing mages. Don't worry, guys. Save Not your good. mana for the real challenge up ahead. Hey, Chris. The Ooh. unyielded. What horrible mechanics lie in wait? You just stand and hit. But yep. honestly, this might be my favorite fight in the raid. What? Just hear me out. Target okay, this boss. raid fucking sucks. Like, every single fight has you running around chasing the boss so like a bullshit. dickhead. It's awful. But on this fight, this one fight, I can just pump. And when the ads come in right at the end and you get to group oh. up and press Sapper, I don't yes. have a Sapper, but when you get to press That's hope, so hot, dude. Oh my god. That actually, that that's so hot. Holy. I love it when it just comes in the end and you just blast it. It's so good, man. You save up all your grenades and your AoE and you just pump. Nova in a it's raiding so nice. Counter, it's just it's so, so good. And I'm oom, and I'm moo, and I'm moo. What? Meadows. And now we move uh, on to the most controversial encounter in the entire raid. I am, of course, talking about this goodness. Oh. Firstly, this boss deals so much nature damage, it was mandatory during progression to bring an entire nature resist set. This Dude, set. If you like this boss, you, there's something wrong with you, okay? Like, this goodness is a shit boss would be a monstrous amalgamation of expensive bind on equip items, crafted items, and low eye level boss drops. And you're probably thinking, well, this wouldn't that affect fun. your damage? And here's the fun part. Lydia, thank this you. boss, What's this up? festering glob, this gelatinous pest, is immune to all damage. Feel free to pump into Viscidus as much as you see fit. His yeah. health bar will never deplete. This is because you this must first hit Viscidus with 200 individual instances of frost damage to Yikes. freeze him. Now, for casters, this is great. You just get the cheapest fastest frost one and go crazy i like how everybody's like this is the worst boss for every boss because this raid sucks it's a horrible raid man i don't like the bucks i don't like the aesthetics i don't like the bosses i don't like the trash mobs i love classic wow but aq40 is dog shit okay there's a reason why most like servers <clears throat> private servers would stop at AQ40 and then they would just like go fresh and then go all the way up to Black Relayer and then stop at AQ40 and then go fresh. 
Okay, like, oh my lord. For rogues, you have to farm the final boss of Razorfen Cruel for not one, but two cold rage yeah. daggers. And then also buy disproportionately expensive frost oil, all to have an 18% oh. chance to deal one instance of frost damage per swing. The range bias in this game has been clear as day since 2004. Once mm. frozen, you must now hit Viscudus with 75 melee hits to shatter him yep. into 20 finally vulnerable blobs. Kill as many Blob. blobs as you can before they rejoin in the middle and you have to do this all over again. Mm. Luckily, this is classic and everyone is an engineer, so you just sap everything for an easy one phase. That's yep. right. There is no part of this fight where you actually get to play. Look, come, my mana is full. Yep. The next boss encounter is Princess Huharan. She has mechanics. But... Yeah, so the mechanic here for melee is to stand uh, furthest away from all the melee so you don't get hit by the AoE poison and then don't equip uh, poison like a nature resist gear, right? Because it hits the 15 nearest targets and you want to be further away. Yeah. You pretty much just stand and hit. Do you really just not notice these 10 dead people? Four mm -hmm. res which just ran away. Yeah, sorry, I don't have raid frames open. It's oh. difficult for me to know. <laughs> oh my god. No. How do you heal? Huh? Oh. <laughs> it was at this moment I had been busted. <laughs> Anyway, I'm still not gonna heal. As it turns out, the raid leader, who I know to be a pretty good player actually, is the pilot okay. responsible for this bottom fragging scrub rogue. And despite being told I couldn't play Shadow, this was bring your rat to raid day. A Dude, he has a one <laughs> I mean, parses don't matter, but that's kind of funny. Apparently. So now I'm just stunk playing Smite Breathe? I could have actually been Shadow. No one would have done anything. This was this ruse was for nothing. And now I have to explain Twin Emperor's mechanics? I'm oh not gosh. doing it. Oro. Oh god, I'm definitely not explaining this fight either. I'm also not yeah. even participating. Bullshit Goodbye, fight. cruel world. Who the fuck soul-stoned me? Is there no rest for the oh, wicked? Honestly. I hate this you too. betray your friends. Cthune, darling. I'm a smite priest. I've been betraying them this whole- Wait, have I been under Cthune's influence this whole time? Wait. Oh god. Oh god, I've been intentionally griefing my friends who graciously allowed my rat priest to come to this raid super last minute. Oh, and now shit. I'm dying on purpose to sandbag even harder? The darkness, what have you? I become? What should I do? There's only one encounter left. How do I make this right? Cthune though, is tier boss. This boss is sick, okay? But the rest of the AQ40 is trash. Should I- Should I- Two, One. Should I heal? Should I heal? Yeah. heal? Uh, is good. No, Wow Log says I'm pumping. Good boss. Oh my god. Jesus. One, two, three, four, five. How many times can I even cast smite? Never run the damage me and never run the mic. Cause you know I'm under cover, bitch, I'm keeping outside. Oh, I'm shit. running out of mana, but I'm getting hella gas. Cause the number that this website like kinda goes hard. Trash. So I'm pumping up another healing, bitch, I am the best. They asked me if I could play holy, I told them bitch yes. My mana God damn. Is and you're trash, 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 trash. And that's how I got a best oh. ring on my shadow priest. It's all coming together. And we'll check in for more Vile Plume subplot later. But because I'm so cool and popular and I'm just doing cool and popular shit like all the time, I actually okay. have yet another place to be. What's that? Shimmering flats? Mirage Raceway. Why? Once, there was racing here. I understand. Now... Carrot? Only a know. few stalwart races and fans remain. Until now. The race to the end of the What they did this? May 15th, 6 p.m. Multiple races featuring competition what? by class, variations of consumes and chance abilities. Fun run for all attendees. And my favorite part, 800 golden prize money. That's well, good. I think I know what I'll be doing at 6 p.m. on May 15th. However, Dude, this is a sick server though. They did a lot of, they've done a lot of cool, sh cool stuff, man. But if you think I'm just going to go into this race unprepared, I beg you, rewatch like my entire catalog of WoW videos with adblock off, sub to my Twitch channel, oh. buy my merch, and oh. then reevaluate who the fuck you think it is you're watching. Okay. I 
I will be racing against every other rogue who shows up, but this isn't just a race. This is a virtual quack measuring contest. Yeah. And I'm a dagger user. So I mean, isn't that just what WoW is, man? You, yeah, <laughs> that, that's literally, it's not one big ego battle, I need man. to not only beat every other rogue, I we need to cool decimate every other rogue. I need every other rogue to know I'm nothing like you other rogues. I'm clicking my shit and Special. you still couldn't go log for log. I got a realm first playing on a steam deck. This shit ain't what? nothing to me, man. I'm sipping straight Saranite battling Eldritch Horrors. My oh. mount's so fast it make that global cooldown feel like I'm playing Final Fantasy XIV, you stupid piece of shit. I've been okay. running laps around this course all God day, damn. optimizing my route for maximum efficiency. That was a nice shot, I like that. All. I've amassed an I can appreciate the small things that Barney does in these videos, man. Like that little, that little one second clip Clip right there probably took a long time to make, but that was really nice. I have tricks and trinkets, anything and everything so to give it. me that extra edge in this the is competition. Small things that make the nifty the video stopwatch, good. which I acquired during leveling last year, will finally be dusted off to grant 40% move speed for 10 seconds. Yep. The Skull of Impending Doom, also acquired during leveling last year, in the same zone, no less, will too be yeah, she's great, dusted off. Are you liking really this up here? For 60% move speed for 10 seconds. Goblin Rocket Boots, if I'm mm. lucky, won't explode and will grant 70% move speed for yeah. 20 seconds. Seconds. Hold on one moment. Aye. That's a classic. Okay, where were we? Oh yeah, these <laughs> suspicious potions I bought from a shady salesman allegedly uh, will give me 50% move speed for 15 seconds. Heading yep. over to the rogue trainer, I can unlearn my talents to spec into preparation so I can mm. reset the cooldown of sprint. And now to go to Stranglethorn for the final ingredient. As I boarded the blimp, I was met with my biggest fans, Dawn oh, the Sansa. You might remember the guild from the Peace Bloom DKP. Now on their way to drop a heart buff on Yojumba Isle, which just so happens to be the one wild buff I'm missing and where I was headed yeah. anyway. Wow. Wow, how did I get so lucky? Hey, Dawnbreakers. Hot. Good luck in your expedition. I'll pillage your mom. Oi. Oh, sorry. Fresh out a peace bloom for you. Sad face. Gross is Barney. Re -e 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 Can I join a group for a portal to Thunderblast? No. Luckily, oh. not everyone is a dick like these guys. I picked mm. up the final ingredient. Tons a Zanza up. potion of swiftness for 20% flat move speed. Leeched the heart buff and took a portal back to Thunderbluff to continue my training. With Preparation like this, I cannot possibly lose. Surely not. It was a clear, arid evening at the Mirage Raceway. The okay. bleachers audibly creaking and heaving under the weight of too many torrents. The oh, excitement gosh. palpable on the dry air. That's so I fun. know I, I say this it. every time, but just look at this turnout. Grobulus, you've done it again. Humans and nice. orcs united as one for an evening of high octane speed racing. It matters not your race at the race. <laughs> Gul'dan Ramsey from Phil's Kitchen. That is such a good name. What the hell? Track for there is one thing at the racetrack you are measured by. Love your it. speed. Someone's getting their shit kicked in by this chicken. It's Roxy! And let's just say I'm glad I don't have to race in the warrior bracket because the Flash is in attendance. Oh, All shit! All this footage was filmed before that Ezra Miller stuff. Vinland, this is not a good look. Chris trying to flex oh. your gold stack on the stream. I'm gonna boil Ooh. you alive. So let's go over how the race I'm running in will work. In stark okay. contrast to the no spells, no abilities, This no freaking maze is so cool. It's so bad, but it's cool. Items, Fox only, final destination. Race I am currently using is B-roll footage. My race is going to be a full fun allowed ordeal. One by one, okay. each class moves up to start their race, leaving around 20 seconds in between each class bracket so that, mm. you know, this thing doesn't take all night because two races per class, you gotta wait for each class to go around the whole track. If we yeah. did this one by one, we would actually be here all night. Once True. the race is finished, each winner from their respective class then lines up for a winner's only screenshot, followed Ooh. by a special gift given by Gul'dan himself. I feel like I I've heard it. this somewhere before. No, no, no. I have butterflies oh. in my stomach. My palms are sweaty. There's vomit on my tablet already. Chill wind Yeti, wish me luck. I'm not gonna need it. <laughs> Rogues, three, two, one. I'm just gonna pop go off. So right out the gate, we opened but... with Goblin Rocket Boots, which Ooh. luckily didn't explode. I lost around a second from hitting my deaf and macro, which also makes me jump for some reason, but that's Ooh. okay. I've already climbed my way into okay, first okay. place because Goblin Rocket Boots are faster than Sprint, which most of these rogues naively opened with. <laughs> mm. Also unrelated, but I just love looking back at post Scarab Lord acquisition, but pre Scarab Lord video release footage where I'm just baiting literally everyone oh. who decides to whisper me about Scarab Lord. I got that fucking mount. I didn't even get to use it because I didn't want to. Oh. 
Oh. Next, I popped my first sprint, and at nice. the same time, I unequipped my rocket boots to so put on my swift already. boots, which I forgot to mention in my list earlier, but that section is already edited and timed oh, perfectly gosh. to the background music for optimal pacing, so just deal with it. Yep. As I drank my swiftness potion, I noticed specs coming up on the inside oh, of the track, shit. and fast. I popped preparation to reset the cooldown of sprint, but specs overtook me with his second oh, sprint. He's fast. Riding the ambiguous inside of the track was a smart technique, okay. but unfortunately for specs, I'm the fucking goat. He quickly fell behind off screen along with the warrior bracket Bozo. as I comboed the end of my sprint into the nifty stopwatch. Nice. At this point, I no, had no, a considerable, uh, uh, Michelle, Michelle. unbeatable lead and was literally lapping people in other brackets. So much for the flash, Finland. But I still you, wasn't done. My swift boots, now ready for action, provided me a short burst of move speed yep. and once that buff was over, I put my final move to use. Thank the you, skull of impending doom. Ooh. The hours of training and time spent amassing these items had bought me a considerable lead and I was now mm. able to just coast to the end of the track. But if I might dedicate this victory to something, let the record show that it was not my meticulous planning oh, or off. rigorous training that secured me this victory. Finish. But the crushed up amphetamines Mion put into my ice cream cone not moments before the Is race that started. Gold, Mion, my friend, I could not have done it without you. In the winner's circle, if you would like to give us a cheer, a growl, a yell, a flex, wow. whatever you think looks best. Blush. <laughs> uh, I... After the event, I was mailed my share of the winnings, 78 gold and 57 hey. silver, minus 3 gold for the potions, minus 3 gold for the swift oh. boots, minus 50 gold for oh. the respec, minus 600 gold for the shadow priest ring, so oh. all in all, a pretty good day of playing World of Warcraft. But before I go to bed, let's take a moment to what? talk about my guild. Now, the plan for final oh. boss was always to disband- I thought it was going to be an ad. I'm not going to lie. That looked like an ad. End of classic. <laughs> That's not to say most of us aren't sticking together going into TBC, but okay. you know how guilds go. Go. Clicks form, rivalries establish, loot mm. drama causes splinters, and at the yeah. end of the day, Final Boss had already served its original purpose. We had secured the record for the most number of Scarab Lords in one guild, and cool. we had secured every realm first raid clear. Nice. Working together under the best leadership I've ever seen in a guild, we did some downright incredible things. But mm. even incredible things must come to an end. In the weeks leading up to the Final Boss Awards Night, where we would officially disband and go our separate ways, those who were planning on sticking around for what would essentially become Final Boss 2 were able to anonymously submit new potential guild names and logos, and whichever oh, cool. got the most votes would win. But the thing with really good World of Warcraft players is, typically speaking, they don't have a fucking creative bone in their body. No oh. flame. I mean, just oh. listen to Kerfos doing karaoke. Oh, just wanna say it now, I'm trying to ride <laughs> up drama, little mama, don't wanna take your man. Yeah, I wouldn't go in there if I was you. But I'm trying to tell what it can't be treated like clientele, because they said she's delicious. This guy can frame perfect <laughs> stance, dance, wave dash with Japanese ping, but ask him to catch the beat, and it's like trying to get blood from a stone. All yep. that is to say, when I tell you these names and logos sucked, I'm actually doing them a favor by underselling the reality of the utter creative bankruptcy I was forced to experience. You think I'm mm. overselling it? Here was my submission that oh, was winning what? by an uncontested landslide. Like, are you serious? And reminder, okay. this was an anonymous submission contest. This wasn't winning because people wanted to decide with me, the content creator. Oh. This was winning because every other submission sucked ass. <laughs> but that night, after the races, after everyone had gone to bed, disaster struck. Okay. Terra Orc, the true owner and GM of Final Boss, one of the most chaotic people I have ever played with, decided to do something pretty fucking funny. He okay. kicked every single person from the guild, locked the Discord, oh. and logged off. I don't care. Elemental Mastery, oh. Chainlight, and Frog I awoke to utter chaos, but much worse than that, I awoke to a new guild name, and it wasn't sample text. The only leadership online during the Terra Orc Crisis event, those who would have to pick up the pieces and form the new guild, were oh no. obviously not concerned with who won the shitty Discord naming contest. They were concerned with setting up a guild, and a Discord, and yeah, missions, and all the, all the work. bureaucracy bullshit that comes with that stuff. Oh god. Please do not announce to the server when you are going to masturbate. This has been a reoccurring issue and I'm not sure why some people have had underdeveloped social skills that they think that a server full of mostly male strangers would like to know that. No one is going to be impressed and give you a high five, especially considering where that hand has been. I don't want to add this to the rules since it would be embarrassing for new users to see that we have a problem with this, but it's going to be enforced as a rule from now on. If it occurs, you will be warned. Then additional occurrences will be dealt with at the discretion of the mods. Thanks. And some guy responded with a Pepe masturbating. While being sad. Okay.
and they just had to use the pieces they had at the time. And so it was that final boss ended and yep. in its place emerged Murmur. Wow, nice name. Murmur. Wow. Dude, does this name suck or what? Mur uh, that's, a, that's a shit name, man. That, that, isn't that the boss in that dungeon in uh, Alkindun or something like that? Um, uh, like, the last boss of Shadow yeah. Labyrinth? Is this guy even yeah. that sick? Let me check his lore. Yeah, this guy is not sick, you guys. Ooh, he's so powerful. When he got summoned, he blew up Arkandun. Guys, Illidan is in this expansion. You know that, right? Like, the bar for sick guys is pretty high. Yeah. Mama? Later that evening, with the bitter taste of the name Mama still settling on our tongues, oh, we gosh. made the long trek up Hyjal Mountain to stand at the foot of Nordrasil for the Guild Awards as planned. Okay. An evening of celebration for all we as a collective have achieved. I don't think any other guild can say that they did the same things that we were able <laughs> To do. But this? also a time to reckon. What's that ventrilo like ventrilo as microphone? Nice individuals for Hello? their unique contributions to the guild. I don't really cry that much, but um I took home the award for Scarab War MVP. Delicious. But Ooh. in truth, the guild awards were just a distraction. Final oh. boss is far too infamous to simply just disband yeah. in Hyjal after Makes a sense. cute night of autofillation. Three patch drops tomorrow. This was our final chance for a final ride as final boss. What okay. you are witnessing here is 80 level 60 horde players oh, about to Iron storm Forge. Iron Forge and They're kill all gonna King die. Magni Bronzebeard. It's going to be a complete and utter They're massacre. They're all gonna die. Doing 90 in the Prius trying to make it. <laughs> oh. Teleporting to Orgrimmar, we took a flight path to Splinter Tree Outpost in Ashenvale. You normies okay. probably don't know what it's like to have assassin squads tracking down your every move, even oh, to shit. the peaks of Hyjal Mountain during a guild event. Come on, man! <laughs> Wait, what, what was that? I've never seen that one before. No less, but just know that summonless <laughs> operations like this Love require it. a carefully planned route. Why Splinter Tree Outpost and not Zorm Strand if our target is the Orbidean Pier in Darkshore? Mm. So we can run through Astronaut to make it look like we're targeting Night Elf territory? Uh, Anyone tracking us at this point would assume we are leading an attack on Teldrassil by way of Darkshore. When really, we're heading in the opposite direction to Menethil Harbor. Oh, Menethil shit. Harbor, of course, because whilst Iron Forge is closer, this still leaves room for the Alliance to ponder a Stormwind mix-up. We did just okay. pass by Teldrassil after all, so who's to say we won't pass by the obvious choice again? Who's excited? Uh -huh. Not even for pre-patch, for the auction house to come back up tomorrow. Oh, oh my god, god. I god. tried! Once we made it to Dunmoreau, however, that was when it became clear what our intentions were. Our mm. spies were already reporting a large alliance defense bolstering in Iron Forge, oh, allegedly 100 men strong. Oh my god, dude, this is the most dwarven overlords I've ever seen, and they're all in Iron Forge right oh, now. Shit. Dwarven overlords, the most most badass roleplay guild on Grobulus. They don't fuck Got around. Them. Every Sunday they host a meeting to update their great book of grudges. A sort of what? They of kill on sight list, if you will. And most of us are definitely in this book. The book Always of in grudges. Character. If you want to deal with the dwarves, you have to do it on their terms. When I wanted to get this very shot, for example, I had to organize all of this in roleplay. So I had a diplomatic meeting in Menethil Harbor to discuss, hey, can I like come and film in Ironforge? And the takeaway was, well, yeah, but if we see you, we're gonna kill you. And what? they did, but just look at that shot. Ah, oh, cinema. Once again, putting Whoa. my life on the line for the shot, I Oh my crept god. Crept up the mountain to the gates of Ironforge. Bad idea, but just look at that shot. That's oh, cool, yeah, cinema. I like it. As final boss were fighting tooth and nail in the entrance choke point, I- You know what, this is what WoW is all about, man. Those random, like, events made by the players. Not the raids, not like the, uh, the the game content. It's like the players that come up with shit, right? Received a res, only to be immediately so cool. one-shot by a rogue. Helplessly yeah. gazing on in horror for minutes, I watched as the Alliance not only defended the gates of Ironforge, but completely mm. overwhelmed us too. Yep. According to sweaty PvP add-ons, there were as many as 250 Alliance at this Damn. time, three Alliance for every one of us. Mm. And to make matters even worse, our raids were split, making the classic mass res plus sound a strat completely ineffective. Doesn't work, yeah. <laughs> well, so with the Alliance gathering around my corpse like that scene in Spider-Man 2, I executed Operation Distract. Distract. Greetings! I said, standing confidently before the Alliance, hello there. And as expected, they took yeah. the bait. Their long bouts of oh. mind control drawing the attention of yet more defenders, all eager to get a piece of the famous beekeeper, was just the distraction we needed to get an advantageous position. Once okay. enough of the Alliance were split, I uttered the go phrase, let it rip, and fled the scene. What 
followed uh, next was the video game equivalent of a one. sucker punch, a concentrated bombardment oh, of sappers shit. and AoE abilities, which completely obliterated the Alliance Vanguard. They had taken them by surprise, and now was the time to push forward into the city. Clearing the gates of Iron Forge, we stormed the main atrium and ducked into a nearby alleyway. So close to the Let's throne go. room now, all we had to do was kill this long trail of guards and then engage King Magni Bronzebeard. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I didn't quite make it to the AoE spot. The Alliance Dude, look how many guards there are, man. And swooped in for another wipe, and at this point, Jesus. morale had taken critical damage. Something I've noticed about very good WoW players is that if they become accustomed to an environment where losing simply doesn't occur, they will eventually be unable to stomach the very notion of a loss, much less the reality mm. of one. If one wipe in Nax is considered unacceptable, a taboo so nefarious your bloodline will forever inherit your shame, it's okay. pretty easy to see why half our numbers had already simply just logged off. After oh. the grand blunder that was Silithus, where every Alliance guild turned on each other to the demise of their entire faction, the Alliance had finally come together to defeat an ancient evil. Seven mm. Sages, Damage Networks, Obsidian Sun Company, Dwarven Overlords, Clover Club, Sundered, After Dark, Moonblade Sentinels, Phoenix it's all the Down, guilds. and so many more had made Damn. a grand stand at Iron Forge to defeat the final boss of Grobulus. And with that, we can say goodbye to my classic guild. Final boss is okay. dead. Long live final boss. Let's ATD cool in Iron Forge. That's a cool anyway, I slipped out the fucking back. I heard they were camping people's corpses and they were camping the graveyard so you couldn't even spirit revive oh. them. There's so many fucking oh oh. Yeah, yeah, that's a classic, man. You can't even make it from the graveyard either. No thanks. I will take the train to Stormwind. Zoning into the deep run tram station, I happened upon Nymeria, the only oh. druid I respect. And it just seemed poetic. An oh. unlikely alliance friendship served as the foundation on oh. which I built an empire. And now, at the end of this journey, it was an unlikely alliance friendship which would see me off. Damn. I never thought I'd go into pre-patch side by side with an elf, but side by side with a friend, now that I can do. So that's long, cool. classic, and thanks for all the- Oh! Yeah, that's a classic. This is not the end of the video, by the way. Oh, shit! The Burning Crusade pre-patch had landed. Choose expansion. Wait, have they turned off my anti-aliasing? Yes, they oh. did. And so much more. If yeah, you haven't was that when they changed to the um, the, the retail thing? If you're a World of Warcraft pre-patch in your time as a gamer, you've probably been spending your time wisely. But allow me to give you the rundown anyway. It's mm. basically where the game is updated to the next expansion's framework, yeah. but the next expansion's content is okay. still inactive. But just because we can't access the next expansion's content doesn't mean to say there aren't new features to explore. Pre Take, for example, the Dark Portal in the Blasted Lands, one of the most iconic locations in Warcraft history. It's now green. It's oh, cool. They went and made it woke. Oh, now link spells in chat. Anal. And honor gains in battlegrounds are love completely that. fucked. I mean, the, it's a meme, Now that the level 70 the is the game's internal max level, level 60 battlegrounds aren't worth shit. Win yeah. or lose, such little honor is now gained that before my very own eyes, over the mm. course of a nine hour session, I saw the most despicable meta form. You just AFK. Yes, the situation was so dire, yeah. it was actually more efficient, more honor per hour, to just AFK lose and go next. And then naturally, because yep. everyone wants to be the team that is AFKing, no one is actually playing the fucking battleground, making it take longer than if you had just played it as intended in the first fucking place. Dude, wild players don't want to actually play the game, man, okay? They just want to go down the path of least resistance and get shit done so they can stop playing the game, okay? That's literally it. But that's besides the point. The real victim in all of this? Community manager Linksy. Imagine you're just minding your own fucking business, simply just doing your job, posting some bug fixes to the forums, and then you get swarmed by ravenous fucking beasts. Didn't ask. Fix the honor, or I'm AFK until launch. No one cares. Fix the honor. Where honor? Like 234 Dude, is the, is the forums literally just only complaining always? The, all the times where I hear people talk about forums, it's always as people being angry. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, I, I don't really go into the depths of the, the forums with any video game, really. There, there are certain places I don't go chat, okay? And it's it's for, forums for games, and it's server discords, okay? Those two places is, a, is the no-go zone for me. You win, Blizzard. You are a joke. Blizzard, no, I, I think, think we should want to fix the background. Now they want no sign. Do that. Don't mind me. Just necroing this post for a video.
Lol. Yeah, the battlegrounds weren't really worth the trouble, which is a shame because prepatch gave me mutilate and I really wanted to one-shot some noobs. Mm. Oh well, I guess I'll just have to do things the old-fashioned way, standing outside Maradon, spamming one, waiting for a booster to exit the dungeon. You know the oh. drill. Did Virgin and I camp outside this entrance until battleground PvP was back on the menu? But of course. But if what? I might just rewind time just a bit, there was another thing the prepatch added I just had to check out myself. In the ruins of Lordaeron, ignore the skywalk. Have Skywalk. you seen the Crusader Strike? You did Discord, the back clackless most quarter members. I don't go in discords. I don't go in the in like uh, server discords. Come back to him soon, I promise. There Listen, is man, you gotta realize, milady, I'm a streamer, okay? And people fucking hate streamers, all right? So I don't really want to go to a place where people hate me, right? That doesn't really make much sense. I mean, fuck him, I don't care, but I don't want to go there and look at it, all right? Now a portal to the elven city of Silvermoon, which itself is situated in the beautiful Eversong Woods. And what an utterly gorgeous zone, a treat for the mm. eyes so rarely afforded to us board players. I love sure, streamers. few alliance, oh, thanks, it's all castles and culture, but I came up from the fucking dirt, literally. I'm not mm. accustomed to this league of aesthetics. The golden leaves set against a perfect pink sky. The stunning marble architecture Good with zone. its tasteful blood red accents. The necrotic wound running down the length of the zone. Okay, yeah, that's actually starting to feel a bit more like home. But but I didn't come here just to smell the peace bloom. I mm. wanted to do my part for the Horde and warmly welcome our new elf allies. Cool Bearing fray. gifts of gold and lucky charms, a small crowd had formed around me. It wasn't much, but if you've played WoW, you know just how far one gold can go on a fresh character. And the lucky yeah, charm is, of course, priceless. Buy my merch. Hey Barney, your scared lord vid is why I started playing this game. Aww. Yeah, ruin this guy's life. I'm already in the pit, you understand? Like, you don't need to come down here with me. World of Warcraft his best experience vicariously through anyone else. Just then, my Arathi Basin queue popped. It was another AFK mm. fiesta. And when I got back, all the elves were naked. This is why I don't fuck with you elves. Never should have come here. It's like a fucking Uber Danger video. So how yeah. about that demon we saw back in Lorder on her? What was what? that all about? Oh, how like cruel. He's like a pre-patch uh, wall boss, right? Shadow priests in pre-patch are really yeah. good. Like, how did we ever play without a Shadow Priest in our raid? Good. With the removal of debuff limits and a reimagined talent tree, Shadow Priests are now single target powerhouses that can also heal oh, yeah, the entire the heal. raid at the same time. It's and good shit. we see we become even more powerful. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We're here to talk about world bosses. Shadow Priests are good. World bosses. In, uh, a fucking long video. <laughs> there are many markers to signify a good guild, but what sets a good guild apart from a great guild, Dominance. maybe even the best guild, is the ability to secure a world boss kill. Mm. World bosses combine the thrill of a PvE DPS check with the chaos of an overworld PvP objective. But because only one raid can it's get so hectic, the tag man. and the world boss comes with built-in pro-griefer mechanics, it becomes the most insane every guild for itself battle of attrition the game mm. has to offer. And when you take into account the fact these bosses only spawn at best once a week, you have on your hands the ultimate test of your guild's coordination, execution, and willpower. Dude, I, I remember, man, when I played on some special boy servers, there was literally people allocated into like time slots during the day to camp as Sergo spawns. So like Billy would sit there for three hours from two to five, then Kevin would take over from five to eight, then uh, Laura would take over from eight to, to 11. Like it would literally be a shift. Like you would be working a shift waiting for the boss to spawn. And then if it spawns, you would alert your guild. It is actually insane. I've literally had times where I wake up, fuck around at Kazakh for 12 yeah. hours, go to bed only to wake up and still be in the same war of attrition. And what could possibly be worth all that stress and repetition you're probably thinking? Best mm. in slot gear? Naturally. Despite being released yeah. earlier in the game's life cycle, some of the items world bosses can drop are so good, should you acquire them, you wouldn't replace them until okay. several phases into the next expansion. Which brings me to the fell infused legs. Dropped by Lord Kazakh, these Ooh. shadow damage pants are okay. just just insane. When I say bis, I mean bis. So I got to thinking, it's pre-patch. World boss loot has largely been outscaled by raiding gear, and mm. layers are at an all-time high. Surely, if I just go Surely. to the blasted lands and hop from layer to layer, eventually I will get lucky. Wow, I can't believe I got lucky. Oh. And now for my favorite part, the part where I get to pass my selfish actions off as entirely selfless for good merit and glaive pride. Mm. Near enough, my entire guild a has class swapped for TBC because they are class traitors, and as such, they're not going to say no to the opportunity 
opportunity to come get world boss loot on their freshly dinged 60s. So yep. come on, guys, let's kill this world boss I scouted for all of us. Let's all gear up together. For us. Let's talk boss mechanics. You must heal through his Shadow Bolt volley. You must cleanse his mana. He's really easy, curse. honestly, and Rages. Don't forget, you're on the clock. If you do not kill Lord Kazak before three minutes, you will die. If you go Oom, you will die. And worst of all, if you die, he will heal for a fifth of his health and yep. free cast another Shadow Bolt volley. So do not die. Such mechanics require perfect execution at the very minimum, but honestly, this fight is so much easier when you don't have to also fight like 10 other guilds off at the same time. The, uh, the boss is only difficult if you have level 1 like griefers sitting locked out of Kazakh spawn ready to kill themselves so the boss can heal and eventually enrage and kill the whole raid. Because that's how people would grief Kazakh. They would run in with level 1 characters, suiciding to Kazakh, making him heal, and then eventually enraging. The oh my gosh. Easy. <laughs> nice. Oh, nice. Very, very good. Clean. What we got? What we got? Unfortunately, my pants did not drop, but then I remembered that other big demon currently running around Lordaeron. Yeah. What's his deal? He looks exactly like this, this guy. His brother well, or something. turns out, it's because he's just a copy-paste of Lord Kazok. Same mechanics, same loot, just able to spawn in a few different- Wait, he looks kind of- he does a- he's a, he has cool armor, though. Locations during pre-patch? This is perfect. So I convinced the raid to continue yeah. this world boss train to Lordaeron. Come on, guys, five minutes, in and out, one pull, one kill, For just us. like we did here. How hard could it be? So so we roll up to Lordaeron and pull the boss. And as expected, it's just a fucking easy one pull. It's just another dub for Murmur. Those pants are so close I can level taste one. Wait, no, that low level just joined combat. No, you fool, you're gonna die. No, oh. no, 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 no. Oh, yeah. So next pull, we tank the boss off to the side and kindly ask the low levels to fucking know Ooh. their place. Alas, noobs will be noobs. And now that the boss was for the first time since spawning actually being attempted in he's earnest by a visibly competent raid, the rats came a squeak in. <laughs> he says he's got gold. I have gold if GDKP gonna die in one hit, dude. You're not in a raid. Just get out. No. Oh. With tensions building in the looking for group chat and randoms upset that they weren't being invited, it was chaos. And he says, everybody come and die to it. Dude, WoW players are really the most petty players, like, people in the world. Oh my gosh. I can have fun, so neither can you. ...for the next 20 minutes. Obviously, oh. we weren't going to be able to secure a kill under such conditions. So, whilst the children were tiring themselves Damn. out next cute little pugs. We got to work summoning reinforcements to double our numbers. Once mm. our raid was full and the rats were on two minute resurrection timers, we swooped in to secure the kill. And it's just mm. another easy server first for these grobulous legends. Okay, nice, Thank good job. everyone who came out today to let Murmur know they're not welcome. <laughs> they say fuck me for? They are not our faction. <laughs> who even are you? Alas, my pants went fuck? undropped yet again. What's a shadow priest to do? Cause I'm not about to spend the next two weeks going from late to lay a scouting for world bosses. Yeah. Surely oh, not. Fuck. So I spent the next two weeks going oh. from layer to layer scouting for world bosses. When I got a hit, I summoned in the crew of class traitors to feed them easy gear. Hey, remember in Scarab Lord episode 3 when I said, I'm gonna kill Azhagos? Well, I meant it. Any world oh, yeah. boss can catch these hands because any world boss scouted and killed is more goodwill for me. Mm. And I will get those glaves. Oh, Moosey, did you lose that role? Platinum. Sometimes we were months. successful with a quick one pull. Other times we had to fight tooth and nail for what was rightfully ours. But when oh. it Came to Kazuk, there was one constant. No pants. Why? No pants. Kazuk, please Damn. just drop your pants. God, no <laughs> pants. Oh. Pants? That's rough. That's that right. Double that ring of one. entropy. Wait, who's getting the demonic runes? Click comms. Who's getting demonic runes? Two weeks later, I have killed four Azura Ghosts, four High Lord Crawls, seven Green Dragons, and six Kazuks. And yep. I am still without pant. I have spent near enough every waking moment scouting wild bosses. Don't believe me? Case in utter horror at my eight layer round the clock surveillance, which even for me is a bit much. But so what? What? Eight. My eight-layer round-the-clock surveillance, which 
even for me is a bit much. But someone's got to make the content, right? We <laughs> can't all just watch it. So I log in at 7.51 a.m. to start my final shift. And who do I find standing like, it's right- It's like an actual bot, yeah. In front of me, but Lord Kazakh himself. How did I ever get so lucky? Unfortunately for me, TBC- Because you were sitting on eight accounts camping the spawn on every single layer. What are you on about? He drops in what? like 12 hours and most people are either in bed resting what? up or out buying amphetamines. Usually when I'd find a world boss, the response time would be near instantaneous. But this time it took nearly 45 minutes of me incessantly calling people on Discord, oh, waking shit. them up. And you fuck off. To scrounge <laughs> together just enough people for a sketchy pull. But I've only lost out on one world boss this entire patch, so my ego is in complete overdrive and I will have my pants. I mean, uh. Dude, this I, rem I actually remember, man. There was like, I don't know what kind of add on it is, but like people were obligated to put on like some sort of a thing when people were calling you on Discord that it would wake you up. So they would have like Discord on in the middle of the night, like to make sure that it could wake up in case like a world boss was up. Dude, WoW players are truly a different breed. About guild legacy guys, are we as Murmur like, about to let insane, anyone else Chad. have a world boss? I don't think so. So we pull the boss and for the first minute, damage is good and we're on track for a kill. That's when a random rogue logs in and asks for an invite. Oh no! Could I have invited this random guy? Yes. Did I? <laughs> no. Mm. I was bracing for the inevitable wipe, but luck must have been on my side because Ooh. despite taking constant melee cleave and shadow bolts, this random rogue did not die. And oh, when Lord Kazakh fell, he finally dropped finally his pants. Dropped his pants. Ooh. Oh. Yes! That was glove. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay, there it is. Heroes of the Horde, today we march upon the dark portal Holy to shit. take the battle to the Burning Legion. God damn. Brothers and sisters, we begin our march for the Horde! Oh shit. There yet. Oh. So a few hours before the Dark Portal was due to open, the Grobulous mm. Horde roleplay community had one final event planned. Roleplay okay. roll to, to the Dark Portal. portal. Come ah. celebrate the opening of the Dark Portal in true Grobulous tradition. Starting from Gromash Hold in Orgrimmar, we are going to roleplay walk all the way to the Dark Portal in Blasted Lands. Yep. A final contemplative send-off before we rid ourselves of that indescribable classic magic and take one step closer into the retail abyss. Oh, oh Orgrimmar. Shit. The ultimate constant reminder of just how populated this game was. Yep. Never once did the masses gathering for world buffs fail to amaze me. This game Actually, was true. alive 24-7 in a way I have never experienced yeah. before. And even now, at the end of Classic, at 10 a.m., this game is still giving me things I didn't know I needed, like okay. seeing a line of bears waiting for a Zeppelin. Surprise, classic bear line. Bear all the way. <laughs> No, but he makes a good point. What's the weight capacity of a Zeppelin? Does anyone know? Gosh. Boarding the blimp 120 strong. It was obvious we were testing the absolute limits of goblin technology. Oh, but gosh. if we crash, at the very least, we won't have to experience the Burning Crusade. But yeah, we what just the hell, like man? Ball play walked for several hours. I uh, wish I had more to say, really, but I'm kind of grasping at straws trying to commentate over footage of people just walking. Like, we walked, and then we stopped at Karazan for lunch. Like, yeah. this is very difficult. And yeah, I could write a good script and kind of tie everything up nicely, drawing parallels between this long roleplay walk and the long journey that is mm. classic, or maybe even the long journey that is life in general. But guys, oh. I just don't want to do that. Okay, fine. Oh, uh, here we go. Have you ever thought about adding servers there he is. for previous expansions as they were then? There he is. No. And, and by the way, you don't want to, that, to do that either. Oh, God. You think you do. But you don't. September nineteen. From the very moment I could clumsily form etchings with a pencil, I was already telling stories. Oh. A dinosaur tried to kill me, but I killed him. I jumped on his head. Mm. Of course, this is an English translation of the original text, but as the author, I can promise oh. you this translation is accurate and approved. 10th of July, 1998. Oh, shit. I wish I could get better at writing. It's 2008. I'm studying <laughs> English literature and language with theater studies on the side. Can I get a yikes? I didn't okay. really have a plan, but I knew I wanted to tell stories or to write or mm. act or both or something. I don't know. I'm 15, dude. What do you want from me? What, what I, I really want to do, like, 
really, really want to do. Oh. Is play World of Warcraft yeah. all night with my friends? Can I get a hell yeah? Yep. 3.3 just dropped, dude. Have you been to the Forge of Souls? The first boss music, he comes in, he's like... <laughs> it actually goes hard. It actually does. And this is just the first boss of the first dungeon of the whole patch. And I haven't even There's started like talking music. about Ice Crown City or the raid yet. Best patch ever. Holy. How could school possibly compete? In here, I can be Decidious, Blood Elf Paladin, Defender of the Horde, and Anomalous yeah. Catalyst of Strange Occurrences? You see, it was around this time I first became aware of my curse, my... What? Chaos Aura, let's call it. For some okay. reason, when I'm in a video game, inexplicably random and oftentimes incomprehensible events unfold before me. I don't know why this okay. happens, but something about the way I candidly, honestly interact with virtual spaces seems to make them malfunction. Like mm. I'm the glitch. I mean, you telling me people don't look at Barney Beekeeper like the motherfucking glitch? Like, like I shouldn't even be here? Dude, I was on the side of the box the whole time. Uh, I, what? I it's I in my code. My friends have told me. Partying with you in an MMO makes me feel like I've taken the world where it's not. Ah! Yes. What? Here I am on Twitch.television, accidentally clipping through the elevator in Serpent Shrine Cavern yeah, and seen that managing before. to get up into the rafters. That's pretty cool, right? Wrong. For the next week, because I had inadvertently discovered new speedrun tech, I was mm. contacted by geeks asking me how I did it non-stop. Oh my god. Why am I haunted by a malevolent QR tester? On one fateful night, this I queued the classic speedrunners, man. Up to tank halls of reflection alongside one of yeah. my friends. And considering this is one of my stories, the start was actually pretty good. We had slain the first two bosses and were making our way to the final encounter. For those okay. that don't know, the last boss of this instance has you making your escape from the titular Lich King, who is slowly marching cool towards them. you with a one-shot I like this As one. As Arthas raises the dead and ice walls to thwart your escape, you must kill waves of ads so that Sylvanas or Jaina can focus on the walls. If I, I think something they did really great with the Grath was like the constant like threat of Arthas. Like when you were questing or doing random shit, he would like show up and stuff. It was really dank. Kiwi, thank you for the four months. Uh, sup, by the way. You fail the DPS check and don't bring down the walls in time, Arthas catches you, and it's game over, bitch. Yeah. bitch. I like this dungeon, yeah, it's good. I like it. Unfortunately, on this run, my group wasn't up to the task. The Lich King caught up to us and... Oh. He clipped through us, us oh. and kept walking, <laughs> and we cheated death. What you are looking at here is the Easy. only known surviving screenshot of Decidius the Paladin in the midst of yet another kooky scenario. A screenshot that only survives because my friend put it on Facebook two years later. Oh shit. Huh? As we were all celebrating having cheated death, Arthur suddenly one-shots the entire party except me because I had just so happened to bubble right before he did that because of oh. course I did. That was the night I made this YouTube channel that wow. you're watching right now, Decidius was wow. taken because someone took oh. the URL. How does that always happen? It was like 2008. YouTube yeah. was barely a thing. I had oh decided God, to share with the world of Warcraft my strange adventures, my cursed dungeon runs, the guild dramas, all of it. And Damn. so I sat down to work. I opened Sony Vegas and looked at the blank project file before me. Mm. In here, I would craft my first video. Wow. In here, I would craft my masterpiece. City's adventures. Holy. Now, does anyone know how to make a video? It's 2019. Later. Following my growing disappointment with Warcraft due to, just to name a few things, the homogenization of classes, Activision, inconsistent oh. character writing, terrible oh. game mechanics, yeah. Activision, yeah. microtransactions, yeah. Activision, Volker okay. as a playable yeah. race, oh. Activision, oh. Activision, Activision. Right. too many okay. damn buttons, yep. Activision. Okay. I have yep. finally given up on World of Warcraft. Now, that's not to say I hadn't actually enjoyed World of Warcraft recently, for all the mm. faults surrounding artifact power, the unnecessary yes, abundance of legendaries and bis gear being locked behind bullshit titan oh. forging RNG. The high highs of oh. Legion truly made up for all of that. And I don't think enough people appreciate how badly they could have fucked this one up, especially mm. knowing what we know now. Blizzard brought back a long since canonically dead beloved character, added new story to recontextualize existing oh. canon, and completely risked desecrating the entire character's legacy on a crapshoot. But through good Dude, writing- they disenchanted Arthur's man, and that's- I, I still can't believe that. Ting, all things are possible. They oh. made us root so hard for this villain that now people mistakenly remember Illidan as a hero first. And, okay, whilst it's not that simple and we love him regardless, let's not pretend like this is a good guy. But, but that's good writing. Good writing <laughs> makes you empathize with a villain. Good writing makes you appreciate, love a villain. But make yeah. no mistake, 
This is a villain. This was never a story about Illidan's redemption. This was mm. always a story about Illidan's commitment to his condemnation. How he utilized his deal with the devil to take revenge on the devil himself. So badass. This is not a heroic self-sacrifice. This is one last true to character self-serving act of vengeance. This yeah. is a villain getting exactly what he wanted no matter the cost. Racism, slavery, torture, murder, genocide, every mm. despicable choice, every sacrifice not his to make, leads him to his goal, and we applaud him when he gets there. That, my no. friends, is the genius character writing of Legion. So just imagine my dismay when BFA happens. Where Legion had you hooked wanting uh -huh. to know what would happen next out of excitement, BFA had you questioning why any of it was happening at all. And yeah. honestly, I'm not even trying to get that deep into it. BFA was just horrible. It was the worst expansion to date at the time, and coming off the Legion high made that seem even worse. Yeah. I found the state of the dude, game- Dude, I was so hyped for BFA though, and I got, I got, I got like punched in the nuts, dude. It was so disappointing to be so poor, so far from what made me fall in love with it, that I questioned if yeah. the love was ever there to begin with. Was the magic once real, or was I just a dumb kid who fell for cheap parlor no tricks? Nostalgia. World of Warcraft, the rotting corpse of a once great monarch. But no yeah. king rules forever, only death is eternal. But Classic oh. is launching, and yep. they already got my sub money for the year, and I have nothing else to do. Yoink. Well played. And so I installed some add-ons and waited for the servers to open. Deadly mm. boss mods, I just installed it anyway. I don't think there's gonna be any, like, I'm not gonna... As you can see, mm. I was barely considering the possibility that I would even play this enough to experience a raid. I was just dipping my toes in. I was just Classic curious. I was... I just want to try it out, guys. I'm not going to play that much. And then I farm rank 14. Just setting up an auto-clicker to get in on frame one. Okay, so maybe I was a bit more excited than I'm letting on. In yeah. truth, I had been up all night in anticipation, wondering if lightning in a bottle could really strike twice. Yeah. I wake up in the crypt alongside who else but Eddie? Just another name in the crowd at present. Who could have predicted our fates mm. were already intertwined? Now at the time, I was only planning on playing Classic privately for my own enjoyment, with uh -huh. maybe the occasional stream if you were lucky. Sure, I had some loose goals. I want to become a, a notorious rogue that camps. I, I want to do streams where I just like... Oh, I guess I can't stream it. Cut that mall players, know. man. I want to like uh, move, camp sure. the boats, the alliance ships, and just like sap people who are trying to get on the ship. Not even necessarily kill them, but just sap them. But I wasn't planning on making any kind of YouTube content. I was just playing mm. for me. I was doing it for me. As a content creator, it's easy to fall into the trap of feeling like you have to monetize every gaming experience. Yeah, so true. it's important to keep certain games as games you're not going to turn into work. And this is Fair how point. I was treating Classic going in. This is for me. I am playing this for me and my enjoyment, and I'm not even gonna think about making content. But as mm -hmm. we know, that's not really how things went, and here's why. In the undead starting area, you can pick up a quest named Marla's Last Wish that has you killing a guy for being the wrong kind of undead and burying the evidence. Okay. That is, of course, a gross misrepresentation well, of the quest dialogue, but here. I do not trust this bitch. Anyway, having done this quest more times than you could possibly imagine, I made my way over to where I knew the mob spawned. Yeah. And that's when I saw it in all its magnificent splendor. Why, my British eyes could barely believe it. What? Oh, the line. Cue. Gamers waiting patiently yeah. in line for their turn to kill the quest mob. A scenario so profoundly yeah. absurd. It was magical. It's so this silly. Is, this is so good. Seeing this cue, experiencing this cue, immediately reignited a long since dormant flame because mm. This wasn't just a cue. For a screenshot. This was fate reminding me that this game is a special kind of catalyst for ridiculousness. The kind of ridiculousness that can inadvertently shape your entire future. Eleven years ago, I could not realize my dream of becoming a Warcraft storytelling legend. But that first step put me on a path I never stopped walking. And now, eleven years later, my dream represents itself before me. Damn. Only this time? It wasn't video if, it was video when. Oh shit! Damn! It's been a good series though, really good. This is a 
it was shredding it, man. I feel a bit emotional, man, thinking back at my own journeys too in Classic. Damn. World of Warcraft Classic was the perfect catalyst for me to finally realize my long-held dream of becoming a storyteller. It gave me the perfect opportunity to prove to myself that I wasn't just a dreamer. I wasn't just a washed up That's League cool. of Legends cringe lord with nothing more to give. I was everything I thought I was, and more. And the path doesn't even cool. end here. Not everyone has a dream. Fewer still get to achieve them. But no. for me, I got exactly what I wanted. So when oh. I hear this guy say, "And by the way, you don't want to that to do that either. You think oh, you do? What do you say? You know, this guy, this fucking guy, was a hundred percent right. This shit oh. sucks ass. It's just standing and hitting." <laughs> True. <laughs> True. <laughs> Good video. What a video. Wait. Oh, I, I sp oh. My entire life has been gaming. There's more. Do you think I have? Do you think I have stories? Yeah, this one time when I was gaming. Find a peaky will return. Doesn't really work, does it? A tale of two glaives. Next year? In two years from now? Maybe. Oh, good video though. That was amazing. What a absolute banger of a video though holy crap that was amazing chat make sure to check out barney 64 right here there it is actually like 15k away from a, a million that is absolutely insane maybe she can get close to that that's actually really really cool